Ladies and gentlemen, I woke up this morning, and it looked like the damn world was on fire. The sky was so red. It was, uh, interesting. I had to snap a photo. You know what else was interesting? Me trying to cook dinner with the Crock-Pot Mini-Go lunchbox portable power thing that does stuff and whatnot. I want to try it again, and I want to do it with my favorite microwavable meal... It's like a Stouffer's chicken, bacon, ranch, pasta, cheese. I love these things. If this thing made that, that, that Marie Callender chicken dinner taste that good, oh, I can only imagine what it would do to this. It is amazing. Like, I'm salivating right now just thinking about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to throw this in here real quick with you guys, and we're just going to try this out. I don't know, it's it's just, it's a cool little idea. I, let's see if I can get the cord out this time. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. I need to practice. The plug is just over here. There we go. Anyhow, this thing has just, I guess, fascinated me. Um, it's so cheap, but it's so effective. It's just, I, I don't know, it's kind of cool, right? I mean like 31 bucks or something like that I, I forget how much it was but it was not a lot of money and what you're getting for your money is quite impressive so it's got a bunch of sauce on the bottom here um it's definitely going to be a lot dirtier than the microwave and this might even take a little longer oh yeah just getting all up in there <laughs> oh jeez. Probably wouldn't have hurt to, like, let this sit out for, like, an hour or something. Okay. I need to clean my hands now. This does look absolutely delicious. They always are. So, let's just... Oh, jeez. Um, excessive... Excessive pressure solves the problem. Yes. And lock is this way. Lock is this way. This is a bit thicker of a meal than the last one. Uh, this is probably going to take a little bit longer, I would imagine. I should have looked to see which side had the um, the most on it, because I'm pretty sure that's the hotter of the two sides. I don't know. Here, lick that. You know you go on, lick, go get that. You better. I I see that little nub of a tail. You better lick that. Go go on, get that. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave her bed. <laughs> and give her a little push and snap, and then just forget about it. For, I don't know. It's uh, 5.41 right now. I'll come back maybe quarter after 6, 6.30, something like that, and then we'll give it a stir. And it is right around quarter after 6, maybe uh, 6.20 or so. I had a look at right around 6 o'clock, and it had a long way to go. Kind of spread things out a bit. Don't think it's going to look too much different now. So we're going on, oh, I don't know, probably about 50 minutes of cook time, something like that. I think I got started at like 5.40, 5.45, something like that. I don't even remember. Let's open this sucker up. I'm, I'm afraid that it's just going to go spraying everywhere because of how good this seal is. Okay. A uh, lot better this time, but still okay. All the, all the frozen bits are now finally separating, but there is still some frozen bits. I would say the majority of this is still frozen. Like, I can feel and I can hear the ice. It's getting close, though. So. Oh, this looks like it's going to be absolutely delicious. Look at that in there. Oh, God. I'm thinking this is probably going to take another 20, 30 minutes or so. I mean, I want it to be warm, right? I want it to be, I want it to be hot. I mean, I'm stirring it around, and the bottom's not getting cold, like it's hitting cold spots. How about let's poke this chicken real quick. Eh. Hmm. It's definitely still frozen. Definitely still frozen. Yeah. Let's give it another 20, 30 minutes. Probably 30 minutes, just to be safe. And then uh, we'll bring it back, and that should be it. I'll just make sure I press all this down. I want it to be kind of as dense as possible and spread evenly across the bottom. So I'm sitting here watching something on the YouTube and all of a sudden I hear it. It starts bubbling. It is getting hot. 
I mean, that's kind of what we want, right? Okay. This might be it. Oh, shit. Everything's falling, and... I know, you don't like when things fall. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's looking good. Looks like the cheese is melting. Oh, yeah, that, that cheese... The cheese is getting stringy. Look at that. Look at that cheese. We are there. If not, we are very, very close. Give this a quick stir. This might be the most flavor-rich way, I guess, to, to eating a, a frozen dinner. Because the, the aromas coming off of this are just way more than you get out of the microwave. Right, this is a nice thick noodle. Mmm, that, that is, that is a good pasta noodle. That one was, um, not, not as hot. Let's find down one more. Have a piece of chicken. Hmm. Very, very good. I think we're there. Ooh, that one was hot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. It is it is time. I will bring you back as soon as I get done. And I will share my closing thoughts. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I will say I noticed that the bottom here, it's got, it started to, to harden. Um, I'm not going to say it was burning, but it was... Uh, maybe emulsify would be the right word, although I should probably look up the definition of that word. According to vocabulary.com, it's uh, when you emulsify something, you mix it so thoroughly that it becomes an emulsion, a mixture of two liquids that can't be completely blended together. So emulsify is not the right word, but what I'm aiming for is it started to get rather difficult and the sauce and the noodles and the chicken all started to blend together. So I was kind of close with emulsify, but not, not quite. It was uh, through heat that this was happening, not through uh, repeated mixing. It, it wasn't burning. It was not burning. But you can see it down in there where it started to all fuse together. It was on its way to burning. All right, let's see what we can do with uh, just some heat on this dinner. That seems to be working all right. Cleaned up the lid pretty quick. Main tub. Yeah, just heat. Seems to be doing pretty good. There is a bit of grease in this one, obviously from the uh, the bacon. probably see in there that I'm gonna have to scrub on some of these spots because you can tell the heat was starting to do its thing there you can kind of see in there where all that um, was starting to like I don't know congeal let's throw another word out there that's probably not right but I can't really feel any of that I don't know cleaned up okay I guess at the very least I mean this has been a, a fairly interesting experience so yeah crockpot go whatever the hell it's called I completely Forgotten Crock-Pot Lunchbox? Pretty damn cool. Yeah. So far it's been worth it at least just for the novelty, but honestly it seems like a super practical thing to own. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.